All right, so peep this. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. Also giving details of this shit. So, I'm hoping. I'm. I'm from a, you know, kind of town in you know a state called Alabama. You know, you may have heard of it. Um, but anyway, so I'm hoping. Right, and uh, let me make sure I should record. Okay, we're still good. All right, so I'm hoping uh, at this fucking kind of court kind of located near the hood. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's in the intersection between the hood and, like, reality. And it's pretty much the main hood, uh, main court. A lot of people hoop at in my area. So I'm like, okay, I come in here pretty often near my, near my place. Uh, I live on the other side, in the not hood part. But there happens to be some, some Negroes that come from the hood part of it. All right, so peep this. So we're playing the game like three on three. It's like me, uh, I think it was a white dude, an Asian dude, and the other side was like a black dude. And then it's like, picture like kind of white trash in your head, but like kind of like fake black too. Like white trash, but fake black, which is a very common mixture nowadays, I think, to, in my opinion. Like you might find a dude that has fucked up teeth, a gold chain, slick back hair, uh, whatever is the high school cup of tea brand now. I, back in my day is Polo. Uh, some shit like that. Uh, Jordans. And the nigga might be wearing like fucking, uh, what's those, uh, uh, the, the damn short chubbies. I think, I think call it chubbies, right? Like the fucking high, high ass shorts. That you wear for fishing and shit like that. Chubbies, uh, Columbia, you know, whatever, you know. So, basically a mixture of all the worst traits of a band of damn redneck. And then you throw some pseudo black in there. That was this motherfucker. I heard him say nigga in the, in the first game we played. I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I'll let this shit cook. To me, I'm not going to come up on, a, on a, a white dude saying nigga. Unless it's like him calling me nigga. He's just like, it's outwardly saying nigga to his fellow caucuses whatever so we having a good time it's a laid back game three on three we just kind of fucking around a little bit laid back ass game i think it got to four on four i want to say these other dudes came along uh still, still no hood dudes in this equation no 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 hood dudes no bullshit nice ass day and you can kind of smell it a bunch of a bunch of fuckery a bunch of niggardry kind of perspirating so, these niggas just got their ass bust on the court, the main court, the one niggas playing 5 on 5 and all that bullshit, the try hard ass niggas, sweaty niggas, whatever. They got their ass bust, and you can just see them walk over like fucking Dave Chappelle Prince in the damn skit against Charlie Murphy. You can just see these niggas come over just to air uh, a stank meaner mixed with fucking some of the most fuckery you can ever fucking have in, in one area just by per cubic inch of fuckery they come over there and I knew it was fucked up when I saw them niggas come over there and they was hooking with a flat ball that's how I knew it was fucked up I knew that's what them niggas ain't never seen should have been nowhere any niggas you know that hoops often and is hooping with a flat ball ain't got shit going on I'm not talking down nobody financial status, nothing like that. But I'm just saying, you got to know where niggas coming from. And, you know, I, I grew up in a hood. I did not grow up a part of the hood. I just happened to be in my crib while the hood was outside. So, yeah, I seen, I at least seen from the windows what was happening. And I'll be damned if I ain't just see, like, a reflection of my childhood in that moment. My son niggas come over there. So, I did the bitch made shit. Which is what some people may not do. Because I knew how this was going to end up. I sat down. I told Buddy to take my spot. I was like, yo, you. Because we was three on three. Or the four on four. So we just pretty much got our best five. And they had one more dude come over. Another another nigga, nigga with dreads, you know. But we look like a decent dude. We look like a respectable dude. But no nigga with dreads came over. Um, they had day five. I told Buddy, yo, I'm off. Pick him up. Uh, so I'm talking with one of my homies that I hooped with on my team. I'm just like, we're basically commentating this game. I'm just watching it play out. 
they play in, like, I think, 15, one, one and twos. I'm seeing dickhead nigga uh, dribbling up the court, like, fucking damn the bouncer off his leg. One dude come over on, on uh, I guess, our team and, like, rips out of him. He calls foul. I'm like, okay, that's strike one. On defense, I see him come over. They they not playing 93 feet of smoke. Show the 93 feet of smoke. They playing 93 feet of basically having they damn hands on another nigga dick the entire game. I'm like, okay, that's strike two. Because that's bullshit defense. And them niggas don't give a fuck about even trying to play good defense. I saw them niggas banging the post. And when I say banging the post... I mean, like, Draymond trying to end a nigga career type bang in the post. Just smacking niggas, grabbing up on niggas, all this shit. I'm like, okay, this isn't looking good. I saw one dude who's hooping phone runners. I mean, like, actual phone runners, like the Yeezys. I saw him give a dude 10 points. And uh, he gave him, like, 8 points. The game didn't finish. He gave him 8 points. And the dude was actually clapping a nigga, like, face when a nigga got one steal. And a nigga clapped back in his face. And I quote, this nigga said, what the fuck you doing? Why you clapping my face? And then his homies come, like, start circling the nigga. Not like a full circle, not like in closed circle, but, like, damn near closed circle. And they start saying, that's your last warning. Don't clap in the nigga's face. He can do that shit to you, but you can't do that shit to him. And at this point, I mean, like, everybody in that team pretty much, like, for themselves, everybody pretty much dolo on themselves in that setup. So, if it come down to it, it's gonna be one against five or one against however many, because they had five on the court. One nigga, the dread nigga, was ass, but he did get he did blow past one dude, and the nigga didn't go with the right leg. He tried to cut. I think he went up. He tried to go up. So he was coming. He was coming off this way so he was going to the right side of the rim and he jumped off the left foot which he went, he jumped on the left foot but he went with the left arm the, the layup for not really matter for the, honestly for the story but the point is he tried to cut and when he tried to jump off that left foot his shit just gave out it just just gave out he cut and that shit cut with him. Uh, so, so that was that was that was out of the end of his day. Uh, he had, he had tears ACL, which may have been better for all. This would have preceded some of the real fuckery. But if he tore his shit, they would have like called it a day. But he tore he he sprained his ankle, and then this big glob ass nigga, this motherfucker, built like a damn. I don't even know. Like, just blob motherfucker. Like, imagine like a, a dollar of a fucking ranch. Like, just like you spritz some fucking ranch out of a damn bottle and that shit kind of coalesces and swirls up. That was how this nigga was built. I'm talking like a nigga with a propane ass stomach and, and chest. Like, actual tits, like D cup tits. No legs. And then, like, his neck is like a fucking slant route across aforementioned titties. It's like no neck, head slanted. It's like a fucking tectonic plate fucking subverting another tectonic plate. That nigga comes over to replace a nigga that sprained said ankle. And this nigga, the first session in the game, the motherfucker that was giving his little homie buckets on the phone runners, he's like slapping him like he's actually slapping the man on his like back and stomach and front to play defense he is not attempting to play defense he is just slapping him so I'm like this is a farce this is farcical is what this is so that as you can probably guess they bust these niggas asses um up and down the court but unfortunately the 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 the, the, the omniscient threat of maybe getting your ass kicked or jumped more than kicked is slowly wearing on the morale of our heroes here. They're busting their asses, but the fouling, the talking shit, it's keeping it relatively close. I think they played to 15. I think it was like 12 to, I want to say 6. The worst part is we played at night. 
but you can see not outside they play it at night and one court is immeasurably worse in terms of vision than the other one so that, i think at this point they're gonna ask kick by like i want to say seven to two something like that but it's really bad just demoralizing butt kicking so they tell him switch goals I, i'm like what the fuck I'm talking to the homie over here, and like I just look over, and they like switch to a different goal now. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? They couldn't dribble, they couldn't go to the cup, and the solution I guess to them was just let's just switch goals. If you can ask, kick them the goal. That's on you, bro. Um, here's where it gets funny. I'm I'm ten minutes of this story. I'm just getting to the, the fucking climax of it. So. We, we, we go back to fucking, uh, what should I call him? Let's just call him Douglas fucking, uh, I, I, I don't even know what to call him. Let's call him Douglas. Let's call him Douglas. Douglas, white dude, got a couple of niggas off in that game. He got a couple of niggas off of four when we was playing, but he got a couple of niggas off in that game apparently, which I can't be necessarily mad because apparently uh, the, the the black dudes, the, the, the hood dudes, was apparently also saying slurs on the other end. Like, they weren't saying slurs to each other. Like, the white dude definitely ain't called them nigga. And they they did call one of the Spain dudes on, on our team a slur. But, uh, okay. So, I'm like, I'm not really mad at this point. I'm just kind of like, okay. This is this is some real fucking, like, 2003 Blasportation film type shit happening right now at this point. Uh, so, the white dude, who was getting buckets all game, but getting fouled. Uh, I knew he was crazy as fuck. He described... This was his description. Apparently, he was playing a five-on-five five earlier that day uh, on that main court. And he got cheated out of a win, I guess. I think it was, like, going to 20. He got fouled on, like, 19 points. Um, and they didn't call a foul or some shit like that. I think he, I think, I think it was 20 to, like, 19 or whatever. It was a close game. And he, like, I guess D to do it up. And they called a foul on this shit. He got pissed they was calling foul. I guess he was talking shit. He didn't like it. So... He, when he's talking to us about this memory that happened earlier that day, he's just, he, his response to that was, I should have got my fucking strap out. I should have had... This nigga is acting this shit out. He said, I should have got the fucking... I mean, he's like, he's like fucking acting out the act of putting a gun... Uh, setting up a fucking gun, cocking it, and shooting a motherfucker. Put the clip in. Put it back. Fucking put that shit to their head. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you're just describing... You got fouled out of the... Uh, uh, you got fouled out of a win... You talk about blowing nigga head off. Oh, uh, I'm so okay. At this point, I'm like, okay, this motherfucker ain't head ain't on right. I, I can tell. And any white dude that hoops without a shirt on is automatically like red flag to me. So he never had a shirt on at any point since we came out there. So I'm like, okay, there's a couple red flags here. I guess what happened was as they was getting more aggressive, he got more fed up. They was talking some shit. He talking some more shit. So he got the ball right. Pretty much one on one on the elbow. Uh, funny I say elbow. So he got he blew past his man. His man was grabbing him like not to like try to stop him like call a foul, but that's just what his defense. I mean, his man was grabbing him. He does a fucking Ronald Tesla James Hart. I swear to God, his man's on his back. He does a fucking spinning elbow. It's a clean shot I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie to you. He does a spinning elbow while still spinning, lays that bitch up, and then. I forgot if he talked shit after that at first or what, but he like goes out of bounds because he hit the leg with his momentum carrying him out. Um, he comes back in. They didn't. Even, they weren't even looking to inbound the ball at this point. The black dude that got the fucking elbow to the eye is like fucking steaming. Where the dude's coming back inbounds, he fucking stands like right in front of him. He like doesn't even let him get inbounds. He like fucking stands right in front of him to stop him. Look at him dead in the eyes. Well, one eye, fucking aiming Targaryen shit. Uh, look at him, one eye. <laughs> they ask him, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Like, he just started talking fast and shit. You knew, you knew what was happening. And I think the dude said something to him, like, the white dude said something to him, like, you know, fuck you or whatever, some shit like that to him. And he's like, they start talking shit now. And it's like, it's just start like, I'm talking like fucking time is like speeding up type of shit. They're squaring up. You can't even like get a fucking feel of what's happening at this point. And then the black dude is like, so what, what you trying to do, basically. White dude, cleanest clock I've ever seen in my life, not gonna lie to you. Hit him with like a fucking, almost Superman punch type shit. Clean punch to the fucking jaw. Had his legs kind of... No, he, he didn't knock him out. I'm not gonna like cap. He didn't knock him out or nothing like that. But like, 
had him lean a little bit, like just off his game. He he tried to go over there to the tackle to do and drop him, and then just as he's about to do that, their team like fucking buzzards just consumes this nigga. I see this nigga grab little buddy that he like hit him with that kind of cool fucking little hook. I saw another dude come along that was already by when they, when they was like squaring up. He like tried to like get some, some shots off. White dude pushes the little, a little dude off. So I try to square up with him, try to get him like in a fucking hole or whatever, trying to stop him from like just like laying fucking punches on him. And then like three more people just. I mean, like ludicrous booty rocking everywhere type speed here. Twister slow jams verse. Just shots ramp on this nigga. This dude is doing fucking 360 fucking revolutions, trying to block every fucking shot he can. They get him on the ground. They start running upon this nigga like hell. I start seeing kicks being thrown. And then Big Bertha, the motherfucker with the tectonic plate fucking neck, that nigga runs over there because this fat ass over there like fucking talking, trying to catch his air. He, he fucking had to walk up down the court. Motherfucker... Second win, I don't know where it came from. I guess in the recess of his fucking titties. Um, just a breath of fresh air. Runs over there. I think the white dude was trying to get his fucking feet back under him. And fucking booms the white dude back on the ground. And falls on him. I'm talking like, this dude may be a good... I'd say 310. Like, no bullshit. Like, 310, 65. No bullshit. And runs him and falls on him. And that is game at that point. They was just... Come down, but this nigga with the fucking murder game. Uh, Conway the Butchers, uh, Butchers, Buffalo niggas on Freddie Gibbs type shit. They was ended this nigga career. But this is a family establishment. I will say, like, even though this is close to the hood, a lot of people that are OGs there hoop in this place. And niggas that are respectable niggas that know everybody out there, good dudes, they go and try to separate it. Uh, white dudes start squaring on anybody with some fucking melanin. Like, he tried to. He tried, to hook, he tried to hit the Chinese dude. Chinese dude, Chinese dude tried to, like, drag him out of there. He don't try to hit the Chinese dude. I'm like, whoa, 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 okay, the Chinese dude, that's, that's, we're getting some fucking hate crime type shit right at that point. Um, side note, the white guy's cousin was here, like, his little cousin was there, hooping with us at that point. He was just sitting the, the sidelines, he had, I guess, a girl coming through, so he was just trying to, like, wait till they finish that game so he could go home, see what his girl's talking about. Um, he did not help at this point. He was probably about six three, six four. Also, who put his shirt off? Not doing nothing like that, but just you know, a, a body. Did not help. Uh, came over to try to try to like touch when the black dude was like beating his cousin ass. Try to like lightly like pinch him away. Uh, they pushed him out the way. Like, he like, oh fuck, my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, he's like, hey, hey, please, please, please. So that was it for him. Um. <laughs> So at this point, I'm like, okay, this is not going anywhere good anytime fast. So I'm like, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch. And I did not think to film it, unfortunately, because my phone's on the ground. I was hooping. I was not uh, interested in, hoop, in, in hooping and being on my phone. It's, it's a job, a full-time job when I'm on the court. So at this point, I'm like, okay. This is not going anywhere good, but I'm going to back up a little bit because it started coming over to me. I'm like, ah, you know, I... We were on the same team, but uh, we're not on the same team now, nigga. You and your ass beat Dolo, motherfucker. So the OGs start breaking that shit up. They get Big Bertha off of my man. They hit the little niggas that was like fucking like flies, just eating this nigga alive. Um, they actually hit the white dude, Dolo. Like, like separated. Like, actually separated. Like, he had some breathing space. Got a chance to catch his, his fucking uh, breath. His legs wasn't wobbling. The nigga wasn't bleeding. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. He ate that shit pretty well, all things considered. Um, up until he made probably, well, I think it was a pretty crucial decision that uh, could only backfire. There's really no situation in which this could have worked out for the best for this man. So they're separated, and the the, 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 the quintet of niggardry uh, is over there, you know, kind of catching their breath. You know, they got their licks in. Maybe they were satiated at that point. Psych. Uh, the dude that guy that ate the initial shot came back over talking shit. Like, he was like, yo, that shit was nothing, nigga. Like, he's like slapping himself in the face and shit. That shit was nothing. Your shit ain't nothing. You ain't got nothing on you. Blah, 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 blah. Um, 
Yeah, he wants him to him. Like, wants him to his face. Because ain't nobody holding them back. There's too many of them niggas. So ain't nobody was holding them back. So he came over talking shit. He was still, he had a dude between him. Uh, white dude had a dude between him. And we'll call him Lil Mousy. Lil Mousy uh, ain't had nobody holding him back. So he's like, nigga, what's up? Like, you do something again. This nigga puts his whole fucking back leg into another fucking hook. And drops this nigga. He dropped that nigga. I was about to try to beat that nigga ass again. He had a new lease on life like Andy Dufresne. Shout out to fucking Jay Electronica. He had a second chance to get the fuck out of there. He got some shots in. Like literally like two shots in. He didn't get his ass busted open. No concussion. I said it's a good fucking day. This nigga takes that fucking chance. And knocks that. I would say he didn't knock the nigga out. But that was a clean ass shot. He dropped that nigga. And they came back over. And it was just as bad as before, if not worse. I mean, they didn't... There was no tackling that time. But it's just arms. It's just flailing. I'm talking punch, 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 punch. I'm like, God damn, these niggas is furious. So they had to have more OGs come over and break that shit. We had like 30 OGs. And f like seven fucking rats. Just eating away at this nigga. And... The, the ratio seemed like it should have been you know it should be able to separate that shit but they couldn't separate none them niggas was furious um so at this point I'm like okay well, I don't know how this is going to end so essentially they get to a point they finally coral these motherfuckers um and he gets a chance to get away it's his cousin come along he's like yo you gotta stop bro one of the OG's like bro this ain't going good for you I can tell you yeah for sure and I'm looking at you right now it ain't looking good for you it ain't going good for you so his cousin grabbed him, like, yo, we got to go, we got to go. This thing left his basketball, by the way. Pretty good basketball. I didn't, I didn't take it with me, but he left his basketball. Um, got his shit. Thankfully, they know where shit at. They probably stole his shit if they knew where shit was at. Got his shit. Uh, just kept on walking. Uh, Big Bertha, who did nothing except just land a nigga and, like, suffocate this motherfucker. Big Bertha, my man come over, and he, like, yo... He like just yelling. This thing is yelling at the full. Like this thing is a horse from yelling. Like literally yelling. You should have got me, nigga. You should have fought me, motherfucker. You should have fought me, nigga. Come back over there and fight me now, goddammit. I'm like, <laughs> well, why this nigga's walking away? This nigga's treating this nigga like he's like kill his mom or some shit. It's like that should have been me, goddammit. I should have fucking beat your damn ass. I'm like, yo. I'm like, bro, chill out. He was like screaming and shit, like walking towards him and shit, like menacingly. He couldn't, he couldn't run. That nigga ran as much as he's gonna run the rest of the day. He couldn't run after them, but he just was yelling and walking and shit at them menacingly, fuck like damn Dio against Jotaro type shit, just walking and yelling and screaming like a motherfucking opera singer and shit. Nigga, like no, no bass in his voice at this point. This nigga just throw, throw his finish. I think the amount of weight on his throat is really what hurting him. But I digress. Um. So yeah, that was that was a good time. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had fun watching that. Um, the moral of the story is I shouldn't be fucking driving and fucking recording a YouTube video. I know I shouldn't, but goddamn, if I I had to get that shit out, somebody had to hear about that shit. The moral of the story is you shouldn't fucking hoop in the damn hood, especially if you are a white person that says nigga. God Himself will make sure that day doesn't go good for you. I'm just gonna say that right now. Shout out to my man Douglas. Shout out to uh, shout out to everybody that was a, a participant in that that moment. Cause Lord knows we had a fun time. Uh, I wish I could see it all over again. The best part of the conclusion, I guess, is that um, a white dude went to his van with his cousin. His cousin was in the driver's seat. Cause I guess my man couldn't see straight at that moment. Um, and thankfully, I'm gonna talk about right now. Um, thankfully. My men not come back out of the fucking van because I'm telling you right now, my ass would have been fucking Audi 5000 that motherfucker if I saw a nigga come out that damn van. 